Normal chickens definitely should not be wearing shoes. He doesn't have the tips of any of his toes. And he also doesn't have nails, so they make him almost like uh, duck feet. Hence the name, Nips. This lady found out that I ran a rescue and asked if I would be willing to take a chicken or two. She never told me exactly how he lost his toes. In the beginning, he didn't move much. And then I realized that I had these old dog shoes that we don't use anymore. And so I put them on. And it was <laughs> really funny to watch at first. He finally started getting the hang of it, like, after a week or so. My mother-in-law saw, and she was just like, oh my gosh, and she just like immediately went onto Amazon and sent me like three pairs of shoes. And it turns out, ever since then, he's just been wearing boots like, every day. I think he's got about 30 pairs now. I think his favorite ones really are just the original brown ones. He has so much more attitude now that he has the boots. And I think it's just that it's given him the confidence to, that he can go farther. He's cruising the whole thing now. So I felt like that was a clear sign to us that it was pain that was preventing him from moving around. Now when he wears the boots, he's ready to take on the world. He's very much a mama boy. He's pretty much like, whatever I'm doing, he's doing. <laughs> if I'm looking at my phone, he'll come over and he'll peck at my phone. I'm like eating something, he's gonna wanna come over and have some of whatever I'm eating. Anytime I go to my, my parents' house, they'll ask me like, oh, did you bring Nubs? Is he in the car? Where's Nubs? He's a curious little dude, and I think that thing that makes him the most special just because he has the thirst for like everything. He really means just the absolute world to me.